The starting point of the Danish cartoon crisis uh, was a debate in Denmark about a children's book uh, on the life of the Prophet Muhammad. The writer went public in the middle of September 2005 saying that he, has, he had written this book but he had problems finding an illustrator. And the one who finally said yes insisted on anonymity, which is a form of self-censorship. You do not want to appear under your own name out of fear for what might hap happen to you. That's the reason why we decided to publish. And we did not anticipate and expect that four months later uh, this would turn into a global crisis uh, about free speech and about the limits on free speech. And, and during that crisis um, uh, about 200 people were killed, the vast majority in uh, Nigeria, in Africa, but also in uh, other parts of the Muslim world. Free speech is being challenged by two fundamental processes that are a fact of life in a globalized world. The one thing is globalization, the fact that people move across borders in numbers never seen before in the history of mankind, and it makes every society more diverse in terms of culture, ethnicity and religion. The other factor has to do with communications technology and the internet, that everything in fact is published everywhere when it's being published. A lot of people may be offended by what, what, uh, what uh, their co-citizens are saying. And there are basically two ways to solve this challenge. One, one way is to say, if you respect my taboo, I respect yours. If you do not criticize my religion, I will not criticize your religion. If you do not criticize my ideology, I will not criticize your ideology. I believe that that will lead to a tyranny of silence. The other way to go is to ask ourselves what are the minimal limitations we need on speech in order to be able to live together in peace and enjoy that very fundamental right. And I believe that the only limitation we need on speech is incitement to violence. We should not be allowed to call for the killing of uh, other people. But the price we have to pay for living in an inner democracy is that from time to time people may something that we say something we find offensive. You have many rights in a democracy, a right to free speech, freedom of religion, freedom of assembly, and so on and so forth. But the only right you should not have in a democracy is a right not to be offended. Mm -hmm.